The advantage of embedding um, numeracy and literacy into our planning process is it happens based on the children's interests and there it's com the learning is coming from them. The way we allow children choices is I put up a few laminated pictures and then we have a think about what they might like out for the next two weeks and then we try a voting system. We always have the one can, so let's have a look and see which one are we going to have, what's got the biggest number? Ten. Ten. Mrs Nicholas, um, my, my brother's already seven. Is he? Did you see his number up there? Yeah, I thought so. We then had a my ten brother, and a My seven. brother's not six anymore. My, mine is seven. Well, that was his number, and then we had Mackenzie's brother's number down here. The voting process also allows us to build in some numeracy and literacy. When the children vote, we, we count and we put the number up on the board. So we've got a numeral up there. Also, which is the biggest number? That, because that's what, what wins the majority. Uh, we also write up the words as we go to. So next to what we vote for, we, we will write the words on the whiteboard as well. So they're all opportunities to build in numeracy and literacy. So this morning when we put some numbers up, some of the children um, commented that one of their brothers was 10 and somebody else said their brother was 7. So we had a little talk about those numbers. And So as we go, we're using opportunities to build in literacy and numeracy. Other people also commented, other children commented on the letters that the words started with and some were starting to recognise some of those. The way we'll build numeracy and literacy into our outside and indoor space is we will look at um, opportunities in the shop that we made. So the children will make shopping lists. We've made some signs this morning. We'll label some of the food and numeracy will also do lots of counting with the money, the pretend money. This morning they were sorting the coins into all the different trays in the coin tray. And we'll look at the numerals on the coin and talk about how much things cost, how much change I've got to have, ringing things up on the cash register, making more signs for the shops. They are recognising the numbers and the numerals and the, and the letters. So rather than us sitting down for the day and saying, today is S, we're going to talk about everything S. Instead, we found the word sausages because that's what we we're making for the camping. So it's much more interesting for them and, and it's come from their interests. Mm -hmm.